With the new capabilities of shrink wrap and creating links between your full models and your shrink wrap models, you can take advantage of that in your large assembly design. In many cases, when you have large assemblies, loading or interacting, like camera rotations, zoom in, zoom out, interactions can become slow if you have really large files with full detail. With the new shrink wrap capabilities, you can work with both cases of full detail and shrink wrap models. So for example, we have this file that has a couple external link files, which mainly are our cam assembly at the top, our frame assembly, and our base assembly. Each one of these are external link files, and they all have a shrink wrap version of them saved already. So how can you make use of full or these shrink wrap models? Well, let's go ahead and close our file, and we'll go ahead and reopen this to show you how you can load selectively either a shrink or full models. So go ahead and open, and we'll pick our file that we're going to load. And when you go into the open dialog, you'll see a new option at the bottom. It's called check for simplified files before open. With that check, it'll pop up another dialog that will allow you to swap your models. So for example, those three assemblies that we mentioned have two versions. One is the full version, and if we select on the other one, we can see the simplified version of that as well. Same for the cam, and same for the base. So you can fully load all the full detailed models and work on the full assembly just like you saw when we started, or we can load all the simplified models if we want to have a very lightweight version of our model. We can also do a selective mode. and This allows us to say, well, I want to load the selective versions of the frame assembly and the base assembly, meaning I want to load the alternate file, which is the simplified version of both, both of those cases, while loading the full details of our cam assembly because we want to work on that file. So we'll select those two options and hit select selectively load the file and you'll see now our file is now loaded with the shrink wrap versions of our frame assembly and our base assembly while our full details are applied to our cam assembly. So we can go in and actually interact with this model and work at, on it just like we would with any IronCAD geometry. So if we wanted to add new geometry to this, for example, we can add a, a whole geometry to this for some reason or another. We can modify anything that we want to work on that file. And we can also reference the simplified models. So sometimes, sometimes you still want to position elements in your model. For example, we want to position our cam assembly. We can go into our annotations, put a smart dimension that refers to this face and refers to one of the simplified uh, geometry elements. And we'll go ahead and lock that to make it a constraint. So this is a constraint that we want to apply and we want it to update when the real geometry loads. So this is really nice that you can do this between this uh, shrink wrap models and your full models. So for example, we'll go ahead and drive this model. Maybe we'll make it 2.5 to move it over. And we can see that change apply for us in this case. We can turn off our smart dimensions and see that change apply. <clears throat> now, if we go ahead and save our file, we're going to go ahead and save. And we go back and reload this file. We can go through the open dialog or just select your recent file list and double click that and it'll remain, remember the checkbox that you had selected. And now we can say, we see all these files here, let's go ahead and load all full details, and we'll see that even though we put that dimension on the cam assembly to the uh, simplified version, it will transfer over to the main file. So now that if we select onto our, our full file, notice that dimension is still there and references over to our frame assembly and maintains our relationship where we positioned our, our geometry. So a very handy tool to allow you to work in a very simplified file, which will give you the performance and the open and safe performance, while still being able to work on real details and not worry about the simplified cases that you're not modifying at the time. So a very handy feature that's been added with the shrink wrap and the linking capabilities for 2019.